Well, this is awkward. Hi, everybody. It's Cherry Fire. Um, it has been a couple of months since the last episode, and I know it might seem strange that it, I stopped recording after only two episodes, but in my defense, and now I bet you're wondering, well, what has happened in the two months that we have not gotten an episode from you? Well, you can go look at Tibby's episodes if you want to see more in detail. Um, since I don't have any recordings uh, from the last two months, so, you know, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna do it by ear. We're just gonna play it. We're just gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna be giving you guys a little tour of everything that you have missed in the past two months. Um, and we'll go over it kind of one by one, uh, just kind of whatever comes to mind. And I'll just show you pretty much everything. Um, first of all, I guess Fruit Flowers has gotten quite a nice upgrade. A lot of this stuff is um, in, it's it's thanks to Bee Apple Strudet. Bee Apple Strudet is responsible for all things nice around here. We, 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 would, we would be nothing without her. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I was going to take you through a very detailed tour of our spawn, which has turned into a very lovely shopping district. But there's there 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 there's quite a lot of a lot of shops around here, so we'll have to go through. I'll give each one a second. Um, I'll tell you who runs them if I remember. But we'll just have to go through them one by one. So you have to bear with me. Here we go. An ice cream shop that sells ice by Phil. Cactus explosives. They sell all sorts of explosives. We've got well, these are just gas tiers, but we have TNT, which sold out almost immediately. I will be real. But there's gunpowder and crystals. Those kinds of deals. A little frog light shop run by Marble Groves. This is the Phantom Post. It is a delivery service that Zosti runs. You just put in a request and Zosti will get you whatever you ask for. This is Tibby's Cactus Shop with very clear marketing tactics. Another shop run by Tibby. It's a lichen shop. A coral shop. And I believe this is run by Julia Coco Bats, but I'm not 100% sure. But they sell all sorts of coral here. And sea pickles, as you saw. This big tree-like shape was Maru and E's wood shop. However, they have torn it down for renovations for now, and they've just got this cute little stand out front with a small sample size of what they're going to be selling in full once once this giant tree is done. The jingler. You can pay backs to make you a little jingle. Lou's small book stand. This is my redstone shop where people can ask me to build all sorts of redstone contraptions for them. A plushie shop with full of plushies made by Hoffman Ink Cool, but all of these are sold by Rusty Courage. The Apple Strudis Pottery Shop with a couple of fun stands inside. This is a potion shop run by yours truly. Inside I have 22 automatic brewers, which I have every single type of potion inside. Hi there, Cherry from Editing here. I found a time lapse. I actually did it! I had a recording, guys! I did it. Aren't you proud of me? Look at me go. Look at Tiny Cherry go. Isn't she so... Look, she's so cute. She's so tiny, it's like a little bug. It's like watching a little bug crawling around. I, look, I'm actually... I'm genuinely shocked I found this. I'll be real with you. I didn't think I was gonna have anything like this. Look at that. Awesome. This is a shulker and rocket shop run by Transcorp, and we'll get to who Transcorp is in a second here. Mapworks, a stand run by Bax, and you can pay Bax to make a map like this one. This is a prismarine shop run by West. This is a museum made by Tibby, which you will see in a upcoming video of his. The Jingler. This is a gambling machine that I made. <laughs> it's just it's just a gambling machine. You put diamonds in here and it gambles. A flower shop made by Hoffman Ink Ghoul. This is another wood shop run by Bax. Now this build has a bit of a story to it, so I will explain it. Um, but this is Get Your Head in the Game. It was an event run by Tibby and Bax with the goal of collecting as many mob heads as you possibly can. And I'm just going to go down here and I'm gonna show you, um, I, I participated. This, this was a competition that ran for, I think it was either a week or two weeks, I don't know. I joined it a little late. Um, but those are the point totals behind me over here. Um, uh, I, you can see I got maybe a little competitive, but I'm just gonna open my chest and I need, do not, you cannot judge me. You can't judge me. This is the building district run by Marbles and Rusty. They have all sorts of building goods, such as quartz, 
terracotta. They've got sniffer flowers over there. This is the quote unquote candy corner, but it's got frog lights, honeycomb candles. Over here is the forge. They sell iron blocks, anvils, chains, lanterns, hoppers. And this one is the groundbreaking, which is such a fun name. I love the names of these buildings, but they've got, you know, underground items, rocks, all sorts of rocks and bricks. This isn't so much a shop, it's a detective service, and right now they are investigating the crimes of poultry women. And Local Wheel rebuilt the Phasmophobia lobby for it. Oh, there's a creeper in there. Let's, we'll, we'll just, we'll just leave him alone, I think. We'll just, we'll just get out of here. We've got a skulk situation in our hands. I, maybe we should worry about this? Do, should we worry about this? I think we should probably worry about this. Now behind me is the Transcorp building. It is the headquarters for Transcorp. And now I bet you're wondering, Cherry, who runs Transcorp? You've mentioned them once before so far. So who, who, who runs it? Well, you're looking at one of them. It's run by me and Local Wheel. We're doing this together as sort of a business partnership sort of deal and now i bet you're also wondering cherry what does transcorp stand for <laughs> it stands for transportation corporation there's no other meaning to it there is no there's no other meaning don't don't worry about it there's no other meaning to this 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 naming convention that we have chosen to take on and we sell, we sell rockets, we sell shulkers, and we were thinking about making, you know, like a subway system. I, you know, I think it would be, I think it would be pretty cool. Just transportation. It's awesome. Transportation is great, guys. So there's a bit of a story to Transcorp, um, I would say. There's a bit of a, a bit of a story to it, if you will. This is the wrong side. The elevator's on this side. There's a bit of a story to it, and... What is this thing doing here? How long has this thing been here? For those of you with the keen eye might have noticed the amount of sniffers on the tops of these buildings. Um, and I will be real, we have no idea who put them here. We've got a, we've got a little prankster on our hands. Um, some think it's poultry woman, but we have no idea. There's a jokester, there's a funny jokester going around here. Who thinks they're so funny? Who thinks they're just so funny? That's only the tip of the iceberg, if you will. We have a- there's a funny little prankster amongst us. Alright, what was I saying again? I was talking about- I was talking about Transcorp. Um, and there's a big long story. So if you look over my shoulder there, there's a shop I did not- I did not explain. That is Marble Groves' rocket shop that they decided to build the exact same day me and Local Wheel decided we were going to sell rockets. And that was not going to fly. We were not going we to just get, sit by and let Marble Groves sell rocket for a cheaper price. We weren't going to do that. We weren't going to let them get away with that. So what we did was I bought all of Marble stock and I sold it on our side. That's what we did. And I did that several times over the course of several weeks. Um, and this was a rivalry that just kept going. We just kept, we just kept going. Uh, right now, Marbles is selling uh, infinite rockets. You sign up for a membership, and you get infinite rockets. Now, how are we supposed to compete with that? I'll tell you how. We have unlimited shulker boxes. We've got the most shulker boxes you have ever seen. Ever seen in your entire life. There are more shulker boxes than anyone's gonna know what to do with. And this isn't even, this is only a fraction. It's only a fraction of our power. Um, <laughs> but we're still trying to figure out how we're gonna combat the infinite rockets. But we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll do something. Well, I'm not sure what, but we'll do something. And when we do something, Marvel Groves, you better watch your back. You better watch it. So it's a shopping district. Um, where are we going to go next, you may ask? Um, well, right behind me. Th well, there's a, there's a rat behind me. But there's also the nether portal over there. And I need you guys to know that there is now a nether hub. And I built it in one weekend. It was all built by me, and I did it in one weekend. 
this is the nether hub this is the the beautiful beautiful nether hub in which i spent a whole weekend on every moment i was awake i was spending on this nether hub so that hole up there goes up to the nether roof and we've got our four you know your classic tunnels um but we chose the colors red uh well red yellow green and i chose magenta um well magenta to match the frog lights because i decided to make the lights color coded as well which i thought was pretty nice but yeah so these are the, the tunnels so we have you know they go down pretty far and there's not really much else to say about the nether hub it's a nether hub you know there's not really much else to it it's another hub but so down here is down the red tunnel is where pretty much all the action for me goes uh, fruit flowers is this way uh, local wheels house uh, Madu and Duty live there. And then this is Skizzle Hell. We have a portal to Skizzle Hell now. Um, Skizzle Hell has also gotten an upgrade. Um, there's something really big in Skizzle Hell that I would love to show you guys. So let's just, let's just go into the Skizzle Hell portal and see what awaits on the other side. So this is Skizzle Hell. It is a lot bigger than the last time you guys saw it. Uh, a few months ago. Um, and so over here is the main chapel, as I'm sure you remember from the last episode. Skizzleman now has bisexual hair. Don't worry about it. And there's Skizzle pages. There's a Skizzle Bible up here, I think. Yeah, the Holy Skizzle Bible, you know, you're normal. <laughs> like, every time I come into this room, I see something new. I didn't see this guy before. What is he doing? So this is the, the main staircase down into Skizzle Hell. And welcome to Skizzle Hell. I love you. And if you make a right turn, this is where I have been spending the last couple months. So I have to confess, I may have gotten severely distracted and I may have gotten completely consumed in my quest for... I don't even know how what, what to say about what I've been doing down here. But this is my Skizzle game. It doesn't have an official name yet. It will eventually. I just, I don't have any ideas yet. But this is my Skizzle game. Or at least what will be of the Skizzle game. So, if you don't know, I am a huge, huge fan of Redstone. I love building with Redstone. I love it so much. So I decided to make a game. Skizzle game. Um... It's going to be a dungeon crawler, similar to Decked Out. Definitely Decked Out is like the inspiration for this. However, I wanted to make a dungeon crawler where you actually fight the mobs, where you can go in with a sword and start swinging and start killing things. And you exchange the, the mob loot um, and what you get in the dungeon for points. And so if you shall follow me, because you have to, because you're watching this video, um, this is the entrance. So right back here is where the sort of main magic will happen so over here you put your stuff away you know your classic sort of game rules and then you would set your spawn and then select your kit so this is the important one so because you get to fight things we have kits so this is the paladin this is the ranger and this is the barbarian and there will be rules here i haven't written them out yet but so you would pick your kit you would pick it up take it with you into the dungeon and you equip it and once you exit, now that you have completed the checklist, the door opens. And that's pretty much as far as what I have done in terms of, like, technicality, I guess. You know, like, your redstone and how it actually works. Um, out here is where I have been building. It's pretty big right now, but it's going to be bigger. So we've got sort of a... This is just, I don't know how to explain it, but this is the dungeon. Like, I, I've just been in here, my brain has been rotting away in this dungeon, and... Ah, that's the wrong button! But this is the, this is the dungeon. Um, it's not super exciting yet. Um, how it's going to work is you'll go running around, certain doors will open, so like there'll be a chance this door will be open, um, there'll be a chance this door will be open and that door, um... And then yeah, you just kind of go through it. There will be mobs falling from the ceiling. And I also have, there's a mob grinder over there. There's just like, there's a lot. And I, I, there's a, I, I genuinely mean this, there's a lot. And I don't know how to properly explain this in a time, a time efficient manner. But just know that we will hopefully, I will hopefully be able to give you better updates as I work on it. But right now it's pretty bare bones. There's just the entrance and 
the mob grinder yeah so here is all the the redstone nonsense here's where i made all the kits so i have a few more automatic brewers over here for the kits um with materials back here yeah so here's <laughs> i'm gonna open this chest and it's full of shulker shells um this is only a fraction again of my power but this is all i've been kind of doing I'll be, I'll be real. And Skizzle Hell is bigger on this end too. I've been paying people to dig out chunks for me and we have lots of space to work with. It's growing every day. We're going to get more space over that direction. Um, I have to make sure I build everything within this sort of area because over there is the mob grinder. I'm going to use free cam real quick just for the sake of time management. But um, right over here, up here is where the mob spawner is. So we have, you know, just your basic mob spawner. And I actually went out and I made it so that this was the only place that these mobs can spawn. So that's why they're coming in so fast is I've made it impossible for them to spawn anywhere else, increasing my odds and whatnot, and they all fall there. And there's another tunnel here. So when you push a but when you push a button, they will all fall down this way instead, where I will put a mob sorter. So that way I can sort out all the mobs, send them into the dungeon one by one, because I don't want any creepers in this area. So I have to filter them out. So I have to make a mob sorter to filter them out. And this is where they'll all end up. They, all of them will end up here. So I don't want any creepers blowing it up. So that's just sort of why I would need a mob sorter. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I live in Skizzle Hell now. Skizzle Hell is my home. I live here. This is my home. I haven't left in two months. I've been doing nothing but digging and building and digging and building again and digging and building again um, down here in Skizzle Hell. But, you know, what else are you supposed to do on a Friday night? Am I, am I right? <laughs> no, I bet you're wondering. Cherry, Cherry Fire. Beloved, wonderful, amazing, and talented Cherry Fire. Do you have a time lapse of any of this? N no. No, I don't. Of course I don't. You know me better than that. Come on. You've been here for three episodes now. You know me better than that. Of course I don't have anything to show for it. Um, but maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna. We're just gonna keep going, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, I will. I'm genuinely. I will try my best to record more. I really, really, really want to show you guys everything that I do down here. I've been having so much fun down here in the dungeon, building my game where no one can see me for months on end. But I want I want you guys to I want you guys to be a part of me building this. I want to show you guys what I'm doing. Oh, who's that? Who's that down there? Oh, is that Koi? Anyway, if you guys want to see some shenanigans, you can check out Tibby's channel. Again, he does more recording than I do, and his videos are genuinely hysterical. You guys should watch them. I will warn you, Tibby does swear, um, and he, he's not a, a PG channel like like yours truly. Um, but it's very good content, very funny. So if you're okay with that, you should go check it out, because he does have some more funnier things that happen in Artimator SMP. The people in the server are genuinely really funny, so um hopefully i will be able to get you guys another episode with actual you know content in it but for now that's kind of it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys another time Bye bye so i'm going over the the replay footage of making of my shop and i'm do and i'm recording this little bit on my phone because i forgot about this this freak right here the specific little freak right here he was a menace during my little section of building of this roof right here um i don't know can i bring it up like specific like if, if i press play you'll see he he comes over he comes over to my beautiful little character and he knocks her off all the way to the bottom like i i go why won't why what i go all the way down there i fall i fall all the way down there where did he go See, this was the problem, is I couldn't find him, ever. Like, he's just, oh, he's there. He's there on the roof. He was hiding. Look, look, there I am. Look at her. She's so cute. She's so cute. I look for him, and I can't see him. And like, he sneaks attacks me, he come, and I, I drop all the way back down. He knocks me off the, the roof several times. So, so here, here's where I do what any sane person would do in my specific situation, right? Here's where, here's where I do the, what any sane person would do. So you get stuck on the roof, and I get, you can see, I get a little idea in my little character's little head. He gets stuck on the roof, and then I do, this is, this is, this is definitely what any sane person would do, right? 
I get him I get him stuck in inside the house. I get him stuck in the little inside the house and he's stuck. He's stuck in the roof now. He cannot get out. And I win. And I'm the winner. I'm the winner of everything actually. And now he's the mascot of my potion shop. I told you. Winner of everything. <laughs> <laughs>